What's good, UBTubies? Back at it again with another video. I want to talk about the importance of cheat meals. And when I say cheat meals, I am not talking about cheat days necessarily. There is nothing wrong with a cheat day, but I like to actually break down certain meals throughout the week and that is what works for me. I don't know what you guys are doing, how strict everyone else is, but it is very important to have these kind of meals throughout the week, in my opinion, because it keeps you on track. Now guys, if you wanna keep seeing videos with topics similar to this, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Now, back to what I was talking about with cheap meals. Like I said earlier, if you guys don't already know, I was a very, very strict person when I was on the keto diet, and I've done similar diet models as far as OMAD, I've done, you know, any type of intermittent fasting you can think of, the warrior diet. With these certain diet models, you kind of dive so deep into it that you forget to live if you know what i mean and when i say that i just mean um it's okay to live a little and feel like you're still you know alive as opposed to you know being so strict upon yourself that you forget to have fun basically because there's nothing wrong with dieting i'm not trying to say that there's nothing wrong with dieting or anything like that i am just saying in general that it is very important to stick to your regimen you know, maybe you might go Monday through Friday with, you know, eating your keto diet or eating your intermittent fasting or, or wh whatever you might be doing to stay on track or, or just writing down everything in your app. It is very important to get out of that and just, you know, go ahead. It's okay to eat Taco Bell or it's okay to, you know, have cookies or cupcakes or go splurge on yourself and just feel good in the moment. And looking back on it in hindsight, I kind of do wish that I was, you know, not so uptight with myself. And that's just something that I deal with personally because I just have always kind of been that kind of extremely hard on myself, extremely strict. It actually could potentially do some harm in the long run. Like I said, there are benefits to being super strict in certain areas. It is important to go and hang out with friends and if you drink, get that cocktail with all the sugary stuff in it or go and get a burger with fries and a milkshake. These things are okay because we might have grown up on or you know, you might be thinking about actually throughout the week. I'm not gonna lie, I have a super sweet tooth and I definitely do try very hard not to just be pigging out, so to say. I mean, I was a chubby kid back in the day and you know, if I was to make a dozen cookies, I would eat, you know, six, seven, eight of those cookies out of the dozen. I don't know where exactly that stems from, but I just know that that's how my mind has always been. I probably was addicted to sugar in a way, which is not that crazy because a lot of us actually probably are. We just don't realize that we're addicted to sugar. Getting back to what we were talking about, eating these things, like say if you're eating fairly strictly, you're, you're on point Monday, Tuesday, come Wednesday, you might just decide to go and get that burger and get that milkshake or go to Chick-fil-A. And then come Thursday, Friday, you get back on track. And then Friday evening, you know, you might get off work Maybe your coworkers wanna, you know, grab a drink or something and have a bunch of wings or cheese fries, stuffed breadsticks, stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with living in the moment and just not, cause I'm just talking about me specifically, the way that I used to think, I would just be like, no, you know, I'm not going. I'm not going to be eating cake. I'm not gonna be trying to be celebrating somebody's birthday and wanting to eat a whole bunch of cupcakes and pizzas and stuff like that. But at this point in my life, I think and feel like it is almost necessary to indulge, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Let me know if you guys have had similar experience, if you were super hard on yourself like myself, just leave me a comment, let me know how strict or how maybe you might perhaps need to be a little bit stricter. You might be the type of person that I used to be where you just eaten 
anything and everything in sight. Just let me know, you guys, if we, if we share a similar experience because living in the moment and having these certain experiences, trying these different kinds of foods are something that you're gonna look back on and just be like, wow, I mean, I should've. I mean, like, when you, when you have a goal, don't jump all over the place and just, you know, lose track of what your actual goal might have been or was but just keep in mind that you don't want to be so strict so you can be strict just you know don't take it to here don't you know shoot all the way up here and and, and just cut yourself out of everything and that's basically what i wanted to you know let you guys know let you guys remember that you are still living and you should live frivolous frivolously or whatever that word is and um just take that with you and I'll leave it at that. So like I said, guys, if you like this kind of information, please give the video a thumbs up, drop a comment, hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.